What's up everyone, it's your Spaghetti King speaking, about to make a royal decree. Listen children, we're about to go to war with YouTube. And I know our kingdom is mighty, but we must recruit all able-bodied people from outside lands, outside the lands of YouTube, and into the lands of Facebook. We need to bolster our numbers and make the Spaghetti Kingdom stronger, safer from the attacks of other nations. No, but seriously, this channel is growing incredibly fast, and I am so amazed at the progress that we've made in the past few days. Enough so that I have this amazing idea to get your friends involved. Yes, your real friends, if you have any. It's a new video segment I'm starting called Dreadly Asks. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna give your real Facebook friends, yes, your real IRL Facebook friends, a question to answer. All you have to do is make a Facebook status and type in Dreadly Asks. What's the worst thing that's happened to you during a live presentation? Post the status and after a day, screenshot the results and send them to my Twitter, which I will have right here. Try also using the hashtag DreadlyAsks. Now I do realize confidentiality is very important, so if you can do that yourself, that's great, but if you send me the images, I will blur out all the names. After you send me the results, please go back to the status and put in my channel name. Link them to me so that they can see the video and see if they got chosen. You can also ask them to subscribe, but you don't really have to. <coughs> Anyway, since I am king and my word is law, please give me your feedback on this idea and we'll see where this goes. Also, if you don't want to post on Facebook, you can answer the question personally in the YouTube comments below and I'll choose from there too. I just thought this was an amazing idea so that your friends could have someone to talk to about this channel. But anyways, you probably thought that the video would end there. Nope, I still got some shit for you. I'm a little late to the punch on this. It happened a couple days ago, but basically this video is based in Las Vegas. It's uh, an event called CES 2017. It's where people come together and showcase the future of technology and all that shit. It seemed to be going very well until this company named Faraday Future came out on stage. How do you know a company is shit? when they have the word future in their name. Like, shut up and show me your shit. You're not the future of butt fuck anything. Show me a flying car without wheels and I'll say that you are the future. Anyways, they pull out a car, a self-driving, autonomous, automatic car, whatever you want to call it. Basically a Tesla, but that's when the fun starts. Here we go. Not just the FF91 for you this evening. I want you to also introduce you to my great friend and the chairman and founder of Laico. YT! Hi. <laughs> oh shit, what up? I just came back from the war. Now I'm here to sell you my fucking wheels. Now keep in mind, this is being live streamed to thousands of people, while also being viewed by hundreds of people, probably in that crowd, and that crowd's full of investors as well. So they gotta put on a pretty good presentation, right? Watch what happens next. Now, YT, I would like you to send the car onto center stage in the way that you would do it if you arrived home one evening and wanted to send the car to the garage. So using the auto ballet park, just press the button and it will find its way to the garage. Whoa. What? Oh no, would you look at that? It didn't work. So let's just stand here like fucking idiots and take in that new car smell. Mmm, new car smell. I fucking love that shit. Oh shit, it's getting awkward. Somebody, get the remote control guy. We gotta salvage this moment and make it look like our shit works. Our stuff works. Our stuff works, goddammit. Dan, the remote control operator, get on it. Our car is fucked. Make it look like it's working. What do you mean Dan is on lunch break? I thought we had a backup for this shit. The sad thing is, like I said, this is in front of potential investors. This isn't just any regular public show. If they fuck up now, it's gonna take a long time to recover. Ooh. Okay, it seems <laughs> like it's uh, a little bit uh, lazy tonight, so... Uh, Maybe uh, you would like to say a few words to the audience here, because I know you've been uh, wanting to say a few things about Faraday and what we've been doing, so... Okay. This is top embarrassment. Yeah, dickhead, say a few words. Make it look like we intended this to happen. 
let's get Dan the RC man back from lunch, we'll hook it up and we'll try it again. I actually feel quite bad for these guys. But I heard they turned it on again and it worked anyway, so I guess this video was for nothing. For the evening, everyone. <laughs> Hey, what up, boy? Anyways, that's all we got for today. Remember to ask your Facebook friends that question. Dreadly asks, what's the worst thing that's happened to you in a live presentation? Ask away, send me your results, and in a couple days, we'll make a video on it. It'll be a good time. Well, anyways, thank you for liking and subscribing. Tomorrow, I'll have some more fresh content for you, as you know. So, I will see you then. Thank you very much.